Coming up, a special report on the influential Sundance Film Festival, but first we go to Ireland for a film of legend and magic. The Secret of Roan Inish is next. You're after something? I am. It's plain as day. Will I find it? A little girl searches for her long-lost brother in our next film, The Secret of Roan Inish, and it's something special from writer-director John Sayles, who leaves the American landscape for the first time to fashion a lovely film about the myths in an Irish fishing village. The story really gets rolling in the late 1940s when the members of the Keneally family leave the island of Roan Inish and venture to the mainland. Natural forces, the gulls and the seals, strike back, and a Keneally baby is washed out to sea. Jenny! Later, the infant sister, Fiona, played by Jenny Courtney, meets a cousin who will tell her a tale of a selkie, a mythical Irish creature that's half seal, half woman. And it's a legend that explains the Keneally's attachment to the sea. All the islanders had seen Liam row out to sea alone. And now all saw his return with the strange girl. As time goes on, little Fiona makes frequent trips to Roan Inish, and finally encounters her baby brother, now a toddler, and not lost, but very much a part of the sea. No, Jimmy! Don't go! It's your sister! Actually, the story of the little boy is probably the least interesting part of the secret of Roan Inish. It's overplayed, but what is special about the movie is the sense of time and place and magic that director John Sayles creates. As wild as the events are in this film, it all feels and looks real. It's the kind of story you want to believe is told in Ireland and, and in maybe in fishing villages everywhere. This is an adult tale that creates a mood I don't think I'll ever forget. You know, I agree with you. It is an adult story. And the moment you say, well, it's set in Ireland, it's about these simple people and a legend and a, yeah, they're not creature, so simple, that is, actually. a creature that is half woman and half seal and so yeah. forth. You begin to think of it as a fairy story or a children's story. Leprechaun, and actually, yeah. this is about the way they live. This is about their attachment to the land and their attachment to the sea. And uh, you mentioned the way it looks. The cinematographer, Haskell Wexler, right. does a really good job of being able to establish how they how they relate to that landscape. Well, you f yeah, yeah, you feel the, the weather. Yeah, <laughs> I guess yes, that's the do. way it comes yeah. off the screen. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I like is the little side little stories that we get. There's one boy who gets sick, and they put him between two cows to warm, to him up. warm yeah. up. That now, was that's a great the sequence. That's a great sequence, and that's the kind of thing that I'm sure did happen, or if it didn't happen, it should have happened, and it's the kind of thing mm -hmm. that would get passed mm -hmm. down along the generations. It's a good picture. It's an interesting film. When we come back,